Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present our study on the effect of bariatric surgery on insulin-dependent type 2 diabetic patients. Um, I have no disclosures which is relevant to this uh, presentation. Bariatric surgery has been shown to significantly improve diabetic control and lead to remission in a significant portion of patients with type 2 diabetes who are controlled on oral medication. However, there is relative paucity of the studies and data on long-term effect of bariatric surgery in patients requiring insulin prior to surgery, and in particularly in, pa in patients undergoing sleep gastrectomy, which has become uh, a, a more, most popular surgery in most centers in North America in the last uh, three to five years. Uh, the aim of our study was to evaluate uh, and compare the effect of bariatric surgery on insulin-dependent type 2 diabetic patients as compared to uh, type 2 diabetics on oral medication uh, over a three-year follow-up, and, and to compare the results of sleeve gastrectomy versus gastric bypass in, in these group of patients. Uh, we an analyzed uh, uh, the data from the Ontario Bariatric Registry, which is a database of over uh, 12,700 patients who have undergone surgery at seven centers of excellence in Ontario over the last seven years. Uh, this is a, a, a prospectively collected database and outcome of patients, uh, which is collected over a five uh, to 10 year period. Uh, there were 3,000 668 patients uh, among this group which had uh, type, two di uh, type 2 diabetes. And they were divided into four groups, as you can see. Um, uh, some had no, uh, no insulin on oral meds who underwent rural gastric bypass, those on oral meds who underwent sleep gastrectomy, those uh, insulin dependent with bypass and insulin dependent on sleep. Um, Again, uh, we have uh, about 3,600 at the beginning, at six months follow-up, 2,600. At one year follow-up, just over 2,000 patients. At two year, is just under 1,000. And at three years, about 500 patients' outcomes are available. As you can see, the, the weight loss uh, across both the two groups on those on oral meds and insulin was very similar uh, at, at the three-year follow-up. So we didn't expect this to be any different and just showing that basically the quality of surgery offered in both groups were, were, were the same. As compared to weight loss with Ruan Y uh, gastric bypass versus sleeve across all diabetic patients, uh, we saw a, a, a significant uh, uh, improvement in weight loss in patients undergoing ruan y gastric bypass, which again has been reported with larger studies of around 4 to 5% of their uh, body weight, which is about 10 to 12% of excess body weight uh, at, at three years. Um, remission of diabetes was defined as full remission, those who were off all medications and their HbA1c was less than or equal to 6%, and partial remission was defined at those patients who were off uh, antidiabetic medication uh, for a year, uh, and, but their HbA1c was greater than 6, uh, but less than 6.5%. Uh, this shows the, the, the remission rate of, uh, of diabetes. Again, uh, the darker uh, uh, bars are those who are on oral meds, and the lighter bars are the insulin. As you can see, complete remission was achieved in, in over 60% of patients with uh, oral medication, diabetic patients, but only just about, uh, just over 20% of patients who were insulin dependent, which is still quite significant because many have suggested that if you're insulin dependent, you will unlikely to achieve complete remission. And again, partial remissions was actually interestingly quite similar in, in both groups, an additional 8% uh, added to that. Uh, when you look at Ruan Y gastric bypass versus sleeve with respect to remission rate, again, looking at complete remission, it, it was uh, 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 more common um, in, in Ruan Y gastric bypass 
at one year and two year. At three year, the data, uh, there was no significance and it was very similar, but the numbers were quite small. There were only uh, 30 patients in the sleep gastrectomy group at three years. So uh, this is something that we need to obviously follow up and hopefully I can present larger data. But definitely in year one and year two, when the number of patients were quite significant, uh, there was significant uh, improvement in remission uh, among patients uh, with uh, with, with uh, Ruan Y gastric bypass. And again, you can see the partial remissions uh, were similar between the two groups. Um, diabetic medication use, um, as I said, almost 3,000 patients on oral meds and about 1,100 patients were on, on, on insulin. Um, use of medication um, at three years, 11% uh, of patients on, on um, oral hypoglycemics um, were uh, but still about 60% of patients who are insulin dependent still require some form of medication use. Um, however, significant, both groups saw a significant reduction in the amount of medication use over the three-year period. But obviously, if you were on insulin, the likelihood of you requiring some degree of oral medication was still high. Um, now, looking at remission rates uh, in, in, in uh, patients who are insulin dependent, and I think this is very important, as you can see, the Ruan Y gastric bypass uh, patients, again, as I showed earlier, show a better rate of uh, remission in, in the first two years. The third year is there is not enough numbers, as well as the partial remission. So basically, patients did better uh, if you're insulin dependent on Ruan Y gastric bypass, but still did well on sleep gastrectomy, not quite as well. And, and again, this is a basic a, a schematic of the medication use. Again, you can see the insulin use drops dramatically in all groups. It's interesting that the patients who were on oral, oral meds, 0.9% uh, required insulin after their surgery. So there is a small percentage of people who are on oral meds after surgery may actually require insulin. So it's not as if they all uh, uh, get better. Um, so. In insulin-dependent uh, type 2 diabetic patient, Ron Y showed a greater reduction in medication use compared to sleeve, uh, with 26.5% uh, with the sleeve and 40%, uh, oh, sorry, 26.5% uh, with the uh, uh, Ron Y and 40% uh, with sleeve, still requiring insulin at a three-year follow-up period. In summary, our study shows that bariatric uh, surgery led to an improvement in type 2 diabetes in all groups even patients requiring insulin, although in a different rate compared to patients on oral uh, diabetic medication. Uh, insulin dependence did not affect weight loss, and Ruan Y gastric bypass appears to be more effective in improving metabolic parameters in insulin dependent type 2 diabetic patients at follow up as compared to sleeve gastrectomy. Thank you very much. Uh, again, we'll take one question. From Houston. Agree. A very nice paper. We all agree. I think that uh, gastric bypass more effective for treatment of insulin-dependent diabetes. But uh, have you differentiated, or in your study, or did you exclude, or uh, put a hierarchy, or somehow di differentiate the duration with which somebody or patient has been on insulin prior to the surgery? Uh, we've gone through this progression. If it's been more yeah. than ten years, we went to seven years. Now three years, two years, or now. Any patient on insulin who's you know diabetic requiring insulin is. This is a very important question, and the way the registry collects data doesn't at the moment collect data on the length that they've required insulin. Uh -huh. It does. We do have data on the data on the length of their diab diabetes, but not uh -huh. how long they've been on. So we are actually address that in our registry. So we are now collecting. Uh, the period of time the patient has been on insulin. Uh -huh. uh, most patients who are on insulin have, have a longer history of diabetes than those who are not. So the, the tendency is the insulin-dependent patients are, have, have been, been diabetic longer, but I can't tell you how long have they been on insulin because I know there's a 10-year cutoff people have used yeah. to say yeah. if you're longer than. In, in our experience, majority had not been 10 years okay. or so. Do you have a general impression that patients have been on insulin, say, in excess of 10 years or seven years, what's your presumption in your study? Will they be? 
Will they again, have a different uh, response, a more yeah. complete response? At this moment, I can't make any conclusion. All I can say that even those, we, and we have looked at some who have been over 10 years, show improvement. Uh -huh. Whether they achieve total remission, uh, which we saw in about 20 odd percent of patients who are on insulin, yeah. which is quite astonishing to us. Um, uh, I, I'm not sure. So we see the trend that if a patient is diabetic, type 1 or type 2, but they are on insulin, duration uh, is uh, irrelevant. Do you feel they are a better candidate flat out to recommend for rui gastric by bypass yes. oversleeve? Yeah, we still offer that. I, I Regardless I, of duration? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.